We all have to face hard times, use the struggle to make you stronger like the individual I'm talking about in today's video. Today we look at someone who inspired me following an interview she gave on Roberto Blake's channel, as I was incredibly impressed by her ability to overcome a situation that would have crippled most and build success on the back of it to boot. I'm talking about Swoop, a fellow YouTuber who may also be known to many as Spanky Valentine. To give a little context as to why I asked Swoop if I could create this video, under the name Spanky Valentine she had created a successful YouTube channel with well over 600,000 subscribers. However, in 2016 disaster struck as her channel seemingly died. The views on her channel plummeted, her subscribers weren't getting notified of what was being posted and searching for her content had become incredibly hard if not close to impossible. After a year and a half of trying to get answers, Swoop finally got to sit down with a YouTube engineer who reviewed her channel and told her, Oh yeah, yeah you got screwed. It turned out Swoop had been unlucky enough to come across a bug in the YouTube algorithm which was the digital equivalent of being struck by lightning. In an instant, her channel, which had been her way of making a living, instantly died. However, that's not the focus of this video and instead I want to highlight 5 things I've learnt from Swoop that has helped her recover with her new channel. Now if you aren't aware of her work, go check out her channel which I'll link in the description because she makes awesome content. Likewise, if you find this video of value, it would mean the world to me if you could consider giving the video a like, sharing the video with your friends on Facebook and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of my latest uploads. If you want to understand why Swoop was able to recover, here are a few things that I took of note on learning more about her journey. Number 1. She didn't let disaster stop her. The first thing to note about Swoop's story is she didn't let her problems stop her. She faced probably the worst situation any YouTuber can face and rather than let it affect her to the point of giving up, as most would, she took it head on and decided regardless that she would continue to create content. This isn't something most people do, when faced with hard times the normal response is to stop. If you're wondering why this is, it's simple, the brain is wired to do what's comfortable rather than what's difficult. This is where our natural survival instinct kicks in. Swoop could have taken any number of options which would have been easier than starting again, but instead she didn't let her circumstances get a hold of her, nor did she let any distrust of YouTube stop her. And don't forget, YouTube screwed her big time, so that reaction would have been completely reasonable at that point in time. Let's not underestimate the courage it takes to overcome such hardships. We're not just talking about losing a YouTube channel, we're talking about losing your primary source of income, your market influence, your platform as an influencer and the emotional trauma of having lost something built from scratch. Swoop's mental strength is the first point to learn from the story, it's what's kept her on course despite the challenge laid in front of her. Number 2. She created quality content with value. Here's why Swoop created a hugely successful channel under the name Spanky Valentine and why she's showing similar signs of success with her current channel Swoop. Simply put, content is king and she creates amazing content. When I came across her channel from Roberto Blake, I didn't watch just one video but I found myself watching a number of videos astounded by the creativity, the editing and the cinematography. Honestly speaking, there were videos I thought were on par with what Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon produced, particularly one titled I'm Not Okay, which tackles a serious subject. I will be linking this down in the description below and I cannot recommend checking this out enough to you. This is a general lesson on YouTube and something I'm constantly focusing on working on. Quality trumps all and what's important to understand is quality depends on multiple factors. What I would like to see when watching a video from Swoop isn't going to be the same as a video I might watch from Charisma on Command. If you're a channel about becoming the best version of yourself, cinematography and creative output might be a lower priority than the value you deliver in the message you're sending. Where Swoop excels is she adapts videos to the content. If it's a serious subject like the aforementioned I'm not okay video, then there's greater sensitivity in the delivery in comparison to her video called The Ultimate Breakup Song. Focus on tone and delivery, but ensure whatever you deliver is of the standard you set yourself. 
Oh, and for the record, set high standards, because you, the person watching this video right now, is capable of far more than even you realise. Number three, she put aside emotions for objective thinking. Who would have guessed, when faced with a difficult decision to make, it's best not to let emotions control your choice. First of all, at this point, I want to mention that if you haven't watched my videos on making important decisions, I highly recommend checking them out for making informed and well thought out decisions. I'll link the videos in the description down below. Right, so what can we learn from Swoop's circumstance in this instance? Well, let's rewind for a second. As I mentioned before, we're not just talking about losing a YouTube channel, we're talking about income, influence and emotional trauma. And this is the thing, it's easy to respond to such a circumstance emotionally. Swoop did get emotional about the situation, it's impossible not to. That said, she reviewed her circumstance and came to the conclusion that she wanted to continue creating content on YouTube being a creator at heart and knowing the platform better than most ever will. It's this objectivity that's key to recovering. When we get emotional, it's easy to make mistakes in our decisions, whereas well thought out decisions with objectivity and reasoning are key to achieving success. This is what Swoop did in her approach to her channel and it shows in how she's been able to recover. She's got 130,000 subscribers at the time of creating this video and there's still huge potential for growth. The key is taking time to think things through and controlling emotion when taking a decision. Number four, she created call to actions with her fan base and peers. A little YouTube 101, one of the most popular ways to grow on YouTube is to do collaborations with other creators. So what did Swoop do early on in starting her new channel? She created a video with a call to action to creators to support one another. This move was genius because doing this she spoke to creators directly and asked for people to support one another. Something that no other creator would be actively against knowing the challenges of growing on YouTube. This inclusivity is something that endears people, including me, to her. Her frank and honest assessment of how difficult YouTube can be and having a collaborative rather than competitive approach is something that is highly likely to work in her favour. This is important in the digital age. Industry competition will never cease to exist, but many companies have acknowledged the power of collaboration in the global market in increasing brand awareness and interest, and with the internet, there's space for an incredible number of successful entrepreneurs and businesses. Swoop in this regard has been proven to be savvy enough to understand the modern climate of online business and bold enough to take action in a way very few do. Here's the other thing. She's also got a fan base that she's built a strong relationship with and she utilises this in a way that's incredibly powerful. Wanting the attention of Peter McKinnon, she asked her fans for support and they followed through with incredible success, so much so that Peter McKinnon acknowledged it in one of her videos. There's no need to work alone in the modern world and if anything it's more likely to work against you. Number 5. She took the opportunity to make a fresh start. Swoop's success comes from many factors, but one I'd like to bring attention to is that she used her circumstances to create a fresh start. The channel Swoop isn't just a continuation of the Spanky Valentine channel, but instead she used it as an opportunity to be creative and try new things. This is something Swoop acknowledged early into the life of the new channel. Now, this is critical for anyone to understand, creativity, progress and trying new ideas and approaches are critical in anything you do. The only constant in this world is change, and if you don't adapt you get left behind. Just ask the likes of Blockbuster and Toys R Us. So always think of new ideas, implement, execute and test, because what works today won't work tomorrow. Hit with algorithmic lightning, Swoop has come back fighting hard and is crushing it with her new channel. Use this knowledge to crush it in your own future endeavours. seen Swoop's content and if so, do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't, please show us some love and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching.